It's story time. Story, story, story time. Let's read the story time. Story, story, story time. I'm geek the story time. Story, story, story time. You and me, it's story time. Story, story, story time. Uh, let's achieve. Hello, everyone. Welcome to story time with me, Kayla. How are you all doing on this beautiful Wednesday? I hope you are doing well. And of course, as always, please making sure to stay safe out there. Now, today we have another special art the feature. Today, we will take a look at a book from authors Andy Lynn Rothwell and Jeremy T. Martin. We had the honor of reading their very first book about a special little pup. And so we are back with their latest book. And without further ado, the book we'll be reading tonight is called da -da -da -da! Dipper the Dog Saves Earth, written and illustrated by Andy Lynn Rothwell and Jeremy T. Martin. You ready to see what this book is all about? Ready, set, let's begin. Dipper the Dog Saves Earth, written and illustrated by Andy Lynn Rothwell and Jeremy T. Martin. Here we go. I am excited. Y'all ready to jump straight to it? Okay, here we go. Let's begin. For everyone who cares about our home, <laughs> Dipper loves planet Earth. Earth is the planet that we all live on. So this is where we live. Planet Earth is round and it's the third planet from the sun. Earth is blue, green, and beautiful. Earth has trees, rivers, oceans, and mountains. Earth is home to all living things. That's right. Look how beautiful Earth is. The greens, the blues, the mountains, and the oceans. Dipper begins to see some changes on Earth. He sees pollution from cars and litter making the land, water, and air dirty. Dipper sees trees being cut down and animals having to leave their homes. <gasps> oh my goodness, so all the smoke from the cars and the factories, the buildings, and the boats is making everything foggy, making what happened to all the beautiful blue that we just saw? It's gone, right? And then also, it's important to use garbage cans because look at all the trash that's on the green grass and it's spilling into the ocean and making the, sick, the fish sick. Oh my goodness. And look, no trees. No trees for the squirrels and rabbits. Dipper sees too much water being used and sees that not everyone has enough water to drink. Dipper thinks hard about how to fix these problems. Yeah, how can we fix the pollution and the tree cutting down and making sure everyone has water? Running clean water at that. Dipper thinks and thinks and thinks about pollution. Pollution. <gasps> I've got it, says Dipper. Hmm. Dipper decides to walk and ride his bike instead of using a car. It's more fun to walk and ride. Very true. And now he can still get to his destination. And there's not so much, uh, there's no pollution in the air because he's using his bike. Now we have more clean air. Dipper and his friends clean up trash and recycle in their community. Recycling is turning old things into new things instead of throwing them away. So when you, if you have some glass, you'll put it in the glass bin, paper in the paper bin, and plastic in the plastic bin. And you could reuse, factories could reuse these items to make like a plastic new toy, like a toy truck or something. Dipper thinks and thinks and thinks about the trees. <gasps> I've got it, says Dipper. Hmm, how can he help her help next? Dipper will plant trees to make new homes for all of the animals. Trees make the clean air that we breathe. <sighs> clean. Everyone joins in to help make the forests green again. 
we all have to work together to help. Absolutely coming together as community and as citizens of Mother Earth. <laughs> Dipper thinks and thinks and thinks about how to use less water. Hmm. <gasps> I've got it, says Dipper. Dipper will turn off the water when he brushes his teeth. Every little bit helps. Water off. Ooh, so while he's brushing his teeth for two minutes, that's two minutes worth of water being saved. I can definitely, I definitely need to jump on that train. <laughs> Dipper will take shorter showers. The less water I use, the better it is for the earth, says Dipper. So more love plus less water equals better earth. Yes. Thanks to Dipper and his friends, the land, water, and air are clean again. Hooray! Beautiful. <laughs> Thanks to Dipper and his friends, the forests are green again. And the animals have a place to live. Hooray! Yay! This is what I like to see. And look, flowers couldn't grow if there was all pollution everywhere. <laughs> Thanks to Dipper and his friends, everyone has enough clean water to drink. Hooray! Earth is our home. Let's all be superheroes for our planet. Yes, it's our home and we have to take care of it. And here's the real life Dipper the dog. Ruff, ruff to you. <laughs> Wonderful book. The End. Yes, Kate Crew, wasn't that such a wonderful story? You know, I would love to know some things that you're planning on doing to save our planet Earth too. Just let me know in the comments below. Now, I hope you enjoy reading this book as much as I did. To find your copy, make sure to head on over to their website and you can also find this book on Amazon. And of course, be sure to follow on social media. A big thank you to our authors for another great story and a big shout out to Dipper the dog himself. Hey! <laughs> and Kate Crew, I want to thank you all for joining me as well, but now it's time to sing goodbye. I know. Here we go. Goodbye, 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 my friends. Goodbye to you. I hope to see you again real soon. Be proud of all your work tonight. Now climbing to bed and sleep real tight. On the count of three, let's say goodnight. One, two, three.